What up, y'all? This is your boy, Shaver Speaks. We back at it again with another Flash Warning Season 7, Episode 13, Masquerade, guys. Now, this is a great episode because we finally get down to the bottom as to why we keep seeing that, that gauntly, ghastly-looking-ass Cecile that we've been seeing these past couple weeks. Well, it turns out, freaking psycho pirate Cecile returns. Now, mind you, this is, this is the first time we've actually ever seen this psycho pirate Cecile in in motion, you know what I'm saying? And we kind of we kind of find out why exactly it is what it is. Come to find out, guys, we learned a lot more about Cecile, obviously, because Cecile never actually healed from the death of her mother. The fact that her mother died alone while Cecile was actually interning at the DA's office in Houston. Her mother, Cecile's mother, suggested that she should continue interning while her mother died alone. Cecile never forgave herself for that, and she just felt so much, so ashamed and afraid. You know, she never really healed from that. And then come to find out, actually, it wasn't until the mask finally, you know, initiated itself completely, because Barry got his ass kicked many a times. And that was mainly just due to Chester, because Chester is now the Cisco, quote-unquote, star labs. And that's a lot of pressure to live up to, you know. Even he talked to Iris about that. Because even, and not to mention, we got a surprise guest star cameo from Sue Dibney herself. And so they basically were going to break into this museum because Chester found out that in order to stop, you know, this mindscape, you know, to, in order to stop this mindscape and open the portal to let Barry and Cecile out, they had to get that mask from Central City because Chester suggested that Cecile should use her powers to figure out what exactly they need to in order to get that. It was the gold pirate mask because Cecile kept saying that she kept seeing someone in the gold mask. It was glowing, right? Not to mention in tonight, tonight's episode as well, Joe finally starts to dig into Kramer, Chris Kramer, her military service. Well, Cecile, well, before Cecile and Barry got into that little mindscape of Cecile's, Cecile, you know, got up a little bit of a lead and told Joe, hey, look, apparently one of my clients once served with um, Kramer. But the problem is, there's no record of that service, said service. To which, at the very end of the episode, Joe realizes and puts the pieces together. Like, holy crap. Come to find out, you know, Kramer is the only one that survived after the ambush. When she was, she never finished her last stand of her mission in the army. Kramer. So, that led Joe to believe that, holy crap, Kramer must, be, must have been working with the enemy. She must have been a turncoat. She must have been a mole, you know what I'm saying? So that was actually really interesting to see how that ended. But it was also really heartwarming to see that, you know, Cecile finally forgave herself for not, you know, being there by her mother's side while she was dying and while she was interning in Houston for the DA. You know, she was no longer afraid or ashamed of that, you know. Not to, see, not to mention we saw Iris duke it out with the pirate mask, too. Um, she was actually looking forward to going to the team thinker's, chair, thinker's chair. As a matter of fact... Uh, Pirate, Psycho Pirate actually was going towards the thinker's chair. And that also makes sense as to why we saw uh, Cecile's eyes glow green when she used the thinker's chair to help everyone out during uh, Sykes' attack. You know, that's initially where Psycho Pirate came from, you know. It was during the, the, the fourth storm, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was really interesting to see. So I look forward to seeing what happens next week, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys enjoy this week's episode? I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to stay notified whenever I drop a video. Deuces, y'all.